Hey, hey, happy days, my lovelies. So it's been quite some time since I did a reading last, and perhaps it is time to share uh, this reading. Uh, like I say, said before, I do a reading for myself every day. I use the tarot and the destiny cards and the crystal alley cards as a personal guidance tool in my life. Um, and every now and then a biggie happens and I feel the need to share it with you. So today what happened was I started pulling, so I pulled the first two cards. Uh, in the past uh, influence we have the moon card, a major arcana. It's number 18 of the major arcanas. And in the current energies we had a second uh, major arcana, number three of the empress. And I kind of stopped there because the first two cards being major arcana is very exciting. So I decided to wait and pull the third card with you uh, live in the reading because that would be our looking forward card. And it would be pretty exciting to uh, wait and see together what uh, guidance we can take going into the future. So, um, and then I got two of uh, the Destiny cards. They're both from the Love Suit. And uh, we have number 12, Responsibility, and we have 10, Artistry, and those both feed into our Empress card. And what I love about uh, the Empress is that um, she is a super manifesto. Uh, she is about abundance, and uh, she is reaping the rewards of her... Um, what she's planted there's a golden harvest uh, she likes luxury and life is fulfilling and uh, almost a sense of being whole and complete and uh, she um, has uh, the knowledge infinite knowledge of the Akashic Records and um, the knowledge of the stars is uh, to simply put it and um she is the apple of uh, everybody's eye she is the rose uh, beware of the thorn uh, so that's the current energy three is about um so uh, when one man penis phallus comes together uh, with two feminine, um, you get three, and uh, so the three is a, is the most basic form of creation, procreation. Uh, it is uh, the triad, uh, the triangle, body, mind, and spirit, the balance of. And um, similar to the swastika, the Isle of Man has the three legs of man. And what I love about that is that whichever way uh, the wheel turns, one of the legs, one of the feet always lands on the ground. Um, so it's like being steadfast in one's living, planting real uh, roots and already growing the stem. Uh, so the moon is in the past card and I have talked about that before in quite extensively in past readings about finding the middle path between the tame and the wild. Um, perhaps in this particular time we are being challenged to uh, really dig deep as far as facing our own personal truths. What is it that we really, really want and desire from life? Not what we believe uh, that we have been told we want by others or the expectations placed on us or almost like that projection of um, the image we want to the masks uh, projecting what we believe people want from us uh, and I'm talking about in productivity specifically so in our uh, as in our work what our bosses want from us what our peers want from us in our relationships what are our husbands wives lovers children uh, parents, siblings, uh, all want from us. And perhaps it's about sometimes defining boundaries and uh, no can be a boundary. But uh, sometimes 
going beyond oneself is also beneficial and not being too selfish. So finding the middle way between meeting your needs and not being negligent uh, of others' needs and wants. Um, and in the sense of the dark side of the moon, but there is definitely some magic that we've been seeing in life to some degree. And uh, we're coming out of the emotional watery depths and it's almost like when this night passes, we will be moving into, we'll be watching the sunrise on a new dawn and it is happening. Um, and we are passing through a gateway. Uh, there is some major cosmic activity going on. Big planets, Neptune, Saturn, uh, coming uh, into conjunction within like one degree of each other. So uh, there is also uh, an eclipse, a solar eclipse. Uh, coming up now there was a lunar eclipse of the last full moon and the solar eclipse is coming up with the, the new moon and uh, there is so that between the 12th and the 21st of December you can expect major changes expect the unexpected um, it's like see you on the flip side kind of we'll be all dusting ourselves off and like shit what the fuck happened here uh, will be the vibes of the times to come uh, so are you ready are you prepared are you well rested have you got your ducks in a row have you established your foundations your boundaries your fences have you gotten to know yourself as you should have so um, let's look at the going forward card and then I'll move on to the destiny cards in a little more detail so I did shuffle the cards previously and uh, okay bottom of the deck okay so that um, advice coming with uh, we have the eight of swords swords is about our mental activities insights um, thoughts ideas um, and as we can see perhaps we are um, walking away from the past we established that there's certain things that definitely no longer serve us and uh, we're doing that in order to find perfect balance and harmony and in some ways we are blinded and our hands are tied with regards to how to go forward in life perhaps we're not quite sure of um, what choices to make because we're definitely in a time of making choices um, and I think the advice pretty much has to do with going with the flow more than anything and moving forward, moving into a new direction, an unknown space. Uh, perhaps we are needing a little courage in these times. And uh, so let's look at our destiny cards. Like I said, they're both the love suit. And the love suit represents essential connections and bonding with another, family, friends, associates, and the greater community. Who or what you are called to love is often a mirror for what you need to uh, reflect on in your own life. And to develop in your own life. When asking questions concerning love with another, read the meaning in relationship to yourself. So essentially, you can't seek outside of yourself uh, that from others which you ought to be self-fulfilling and I had a very curious uh, tagline come up in my mind today and it was like self-sourcing s-o-u-r-c-i-n-g and self-sourcing so s-a-u-c-i-n-g so uh, as a woman you never need to put anything up your vagina or clean it because uh, it you are a self-sourcing and self-sourcing especially as a woman creator which is very much what the empress talks to us about so almost like the rise of the feminine i feel is uh becoming more uh enforced stronger to the fore so the first card that came up was responsibility it's the number 12 and the number 12 has to do with belief in yourself so there you go so it's like knowing your gut uh 
we were challenged on that a few months ago to really get to know ourselves and, and our insight and have clarity and intent and focus and awareness. So um, belief in yourself, in finding your center, your belief in and commitment to your chosen path allows you to demonstrate courage. And like I said, perhaps you're needing some of that at the moment in a strength. You make choices that result in happiness. You are dancing with life, and it is dancing with you. So beautiful. So it is. It's almost like uh, when you feel like this, the the thing to do is to find pleasurable ways to experience your life. What brings you joy? Going out and spending some time in nature. Perhaps it means um, a little self-care, eating a bit better, uh, doing some exercise. Perhaps you enjoy walking. Start somewhere, anywhere. Uh, perhaps you look at your gut and you say, oh, you know, I've got a little jelly belly. Well, how about just one sit-up? Um, just do one, one minute, one uh, action, one, just do one. Once you get going, uh, you've already started, in which case it's so much easier to continue and to go with the flow. You'll feel motivated. Uh, it's a bit of self-discipline, and that came up in the reading a little while back with the Crystal Alley card. Um, so the card responsibility says, the quote is from Betrut, and it's taking responsibility, not leaving initiative to the other or to fate, shaping fate and being clear about contentment that is available inside myself, no matter how things turn out. Learning happiness is a comic task. The next card that came up is artistry. And you have to be a bit of an artist and creative in life and tap into your inner artist, your inner painter, sculptor, poet, singer, uh, musician, dancer, uh, sports person, whatever. Uh, in order to find your own magic. It sits in the sacral chakra. It's orange. The sacral chakra is the area between the pubis and the um, belly button. And that is where we determine who we are. That is the orange of the fire where we, um, once the, the flames, uh, once we've met our needs, our survival needs, we start to look at our wants. Who are we? And what do we want? So uh, again, it's the love suit. Who or what you are called to love is often a reflection for what you need to mirror in your own life, within yourself. So again, what you are seeking from others is what you need to self-fulfill. If you want attention from others, how about you give yourself some attention and not the kind of attention that is uh, sitting on the couch watching hours of Netflix, that's okay from time to time, but it's not very fulfilling. Um, perhaps sometimes people are having um, sex without understanding, you know, to self-fulfill emotionally and then feeling worse off for it afterwards. So really questioning your actions, what you eat, how you move, what you do, why you do what you do in work, love and play, uh, really get in alignment with your truths about um, who and what you are and what you wish to express in the world and how you wish to be the artist. Um, so number 10 is about transformation and that's quite interesting because we have the storm card which is a big card it's not a specific crystal alley so we'll look at the energy of the what storm is and it's quite powerful so it has a lot of everything to do with transformation and we can see going forward that uh, we are in an infinity loop. Eight is uh, the spectacles of life, your infinity loop. Um, and uh, it's about whether you are choosing to stay in a karmic cycle pattern or whether you are going to actually go with the flow and go down this uh, blind route, um, which actually could hold every possibility and potential and opportunity for you. You already know what the old has to offer. You already know what history uh, you've learned from that. You've experienced that perhaps it's time to be brave and do something new and different. And, uh, you know, if you have been doing a certain job for a long time, perhaps it's time to change, to take the risk and do 
whatever your passion is. If you like to bake cakes, there are always people who are having birthdays or weddings or I'll eat your cake. Um, so there are always things, make soaps, teach. Uh, what can you teach the youth and the world from what you have learned in life? Um, transformation. You are, ex you are starting to experiment with the changes you have made in your life. Consciously making choices to shape your life. You see life, people and situations with new eyes. You change the way you respond to situations and allow new possibilities to emerge. You are willingly stretching yourself to ensure personal growth and witness a magical transformation like the butterfly coming out of the cocoon. These are all uh, topics and subjects that seem to be recurring over the readings over the last six months. So a little bit, um, I don't really do repetition so much in life, it's a bit boring, I prefer inspiration, innovation, empowerment, uh, forging new paths, not really one for uh, following the beaten track, I'd rather take my panga and go and uh, create a new path in some forest or jungle or uh, mountain or wherever, just where life can be lived fully, where you can be a full expression of your capabilities, your skills, how much can your body do, how far can your mind stretch, um, how high can your spirit soar? Those are the challenges now, not uh, the material, capitalistic, ego-based um, concepts and patterning we have been sold. Uh, it's a lie. It's an illusion. All you have is yourself, your body, and your inner being, your inner state of being. And it's really important to get in touch with that and to know who the fuck you are, really important. Get centered, go in, be proud of the awesome and the flawsome. I've talked about this before. You are whole, complete and perfect. How many times do I need to tell you? You change the way you respond to situations. You are willingly stretching yourself. So that's number 10, artistry. And the quote is from 1 Corinthians 13, verse four to eight. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, endures all things, Love never ends. And that's because you, motherfucker, are love. You are the source of. If you are not being that, then uh, you are not going to be experiencing it. If you are not creating that, then where do you think it's coming from? So um, in the lessons we learned this year in giving and receiving, Deepak Chopra, Seven Spiritual Laws of Success, have a look at my other videos on YouTube. You'll find it there. Um, the uh, what goes around comes around and the more you give out of something for example love uh, kindness caring patience tolerance compassion the more of that you will find comes into your life and the only way that we are able to recognize and receive those blessings is through an attitude of gratitude the more you can see your blessings and the more you acknowledge uh, the things you value in life, the more of that will come your way. It is just is the nature of how things are. And uh, so let's quickly have a look at the Storm Element card in the Crystal Alley book. It's on page 239, which is 14.5. So uh, the numerology for this Storm card today would be 5. And five is about going inwards and um, insight and compass points. And f you can only find your North Star and follow your true North Star once you go uh, are familiar with your own internal compass and have stilled it down and are able to follow your true path of your North Star. The element of storm is the most transformational of the elemental forces. This force is a result of the synergistic combination of the energies of earth, fire, water, and wind. When these elements combine, 
They create an energy that is more powerful than the sum of its parts. And that, that's pretty much what your life is about, um, or living life, is not about doing any, well, you should do everything always to the best of your ability, but it's better to almost do a whole lot of things sort of mostly right than one, just focus on one thing absolutely completely because that neglects, you know, everything is layered. The pyramid uh, were built by stacking things. Uh, Lego is awesome because you can stack and build things and change it. And it's a bit like that um, imagery that if you can use the Lego for how you can use these energies. Um, a force which embodies the moment of creation and destruction in one. Storm is the Tai Chi, the yin and yang combined. Its frequencies represent both points of perfect balance and the extremes of the polarities, your north and south, in the center. You have to, that's where harmony and balance comes in. So if you are trying, <coughs> excuse me, trying to lead a healthy, balanced life, there is excuse me, there is your innate state of ultimate balance and well-being, but through your living and uh, conditioning and patterning and how you've chosen the choices you've made, the sum total of your choices, you have um, cycled up and down through this, so you, this bar has been uh, moving constantly and sometimes it's been sitting too high and sometimes, if you look at the average when you ratio it out. Uh, and sometimes it's been sitting too low. And in order to find out what your medium was, but once you forgot it, you had to go to the extremes in order. So that's where we've been over this uh, last few years, and this year particularly with the pinnacle of the pressure point of, and the culmination of all the things that have been going on with Rona and lockdown and um, not being able to buy booze and whatever, live our lives the way we want to or choose to or have been used to. It's a master reset, a master default reset on the computer from the universe. And um, uh, you, so you're, you have been given an opportunity with all the wobbling and having to find new standards. So you don't have to go back to the old, you actually get to create the new. So that's where you get to be an artist. And it takes self-discipline and responsibility to uh, make the changes you wish to take. It's only hard for very little bit, 10, 15%, then it's easy. Once you've made a start, you're on your way. Dr. Seuss, so get on your way. The energy of storm clears the air and drenches and renews the earth. Its lightning fire charges the atmosphere with energy and refreshes the mind. Storm carries, remember, uh, swords, mind. Storm carries the energy of rebirth, and the Empress is all about uh, birth, like I said, um, three, creation, procreation. Um, rebirth is not always an easy process, and storm is not always an easy ally, but both are necessary parts of the cycles of life and nature. When you are in place of no movement in your life, it is as if you are experiencing a period of death. So that's what this, I think, can feel like. We are, those sorts, the things we are, we are experiencing the past as a death, and um, that will have. So there's the boundary of, we're moving away from the old, so that's dying, and we're moving to the new, which is the unknown. And it does, it's a very uncomfortable place to be. There are a whole lot of new emotions, experiences, thoughts, uh, conflicts, perhaps self-doubt and uh, confusion generally in that state. And that's why you have to know who the fuck you are so that you can tap into that strength and inner knowing and uh, inner self-esteem and confidence and power. I'm just working up the chakras. Uh, so the um, sacral, uh, sacral chakra and then confidence being your solar plexus chakra and then your heart chakra, your love, who and what you want to love in life and um, how you can love yourself better through what you do. Um, the energy of storm will create a rebirth in a new direction through which you can explore your life once again. It's time to become alive, to relive fully. 
The element of storm is active on all levels, physical, emotional, and spiritual. Its energy creates profound and drastic change throughout one's experiences. Storm can cause the experience of destruction as it tears down those aspects of one's life that are no longer stable nor strong, which is four is about, the number four. This destructive force is cleansing as it moves through your life, uprooting those creations that no longer serve and enabling new experiences and creations to take root. As I said, storm comes most often when there is a stalemate in one's life, when the air is stagnant and stifling and there is no longer movement towards one's dreams. When this lack of movement creates a standstill that no single elemental force can move, the elemental alleys combine to create the renewed element of storm. This force will sweep down upon you, charging your energy and your life once again. Like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. Love that movie. Pretty deep, actually. You are sure to find yourself set down by the storm in a new and unexpected place, full of growth, learning, and renewal. The message, page 200. 41, 7. So choices, what, uh, making choices. And there is no right or wrong choice. Don't be afraid to make choices. Don't be afraid to do something. It's not like you're committing. It's, uh, you only have to flow with something for, a, for as long as it works for you. And then you can let it go and release it and flow on to something else. Uh, for the, don't deny yourself the pleasure of life and living fully. Because you're afraid, you have a choice. Life is fear or love. It's simple. So you can live with fear. And fear is uh, expressed as anger, frustration, sadness, depression, anxiety, addictions, and such. Whereas love is love. When storm whirls through your cards, you are being blessed with a time of great change and growth. The growth that storms brings is really easy. Ego-based beliefs and ideas may be shattered. It is time for the death of the 3D. We're moving into the 5D where consciousness and awareness are going to be more important with the age of Aquarius. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It's the age of Aquarius. Love Aquarius. Storm is calling you. Oh, sorry. Old beliefs that were held dear may become empty of meaning. So your thoughts you'll find, you used to find some things acceptable and now they no longer are. And perhaps some things that you f did not find acceptable, you are now considering and finding acceptable and worthy. But this difficult cleansing of obsolete energies is crucial to gaining new levels of deeper understanding and growth. Storm is calling you to stretch out your arms to the sky and invoke the powers of lightning and rain, wind and earth. In doing so, you will begin your initiation into the deeper mysteries of your life. So I hope uh, that was uh, useful for you today. I certainly am very excited by uh, what the future holds, the energies in place. I'm so curious to see what the cosmic energies bring with them and I for one I'm just trying to live a life I love and love the life I live so um, if you wish to have a personal reading please get in touch love to do them or if you wish to have some distance energy healing that's also another favorite thing I love to do and um, yeah if you just wish to get in touch and chat always happy to engage and uh, I look forward to knowing who I'm dealing with out there if I don't know you. Otherwise, if I do know you, I'm excited to hear from you and I love your comments and um, engagements. So with that, have a beautiful day and uh, I look forward to the next one of these, whoever knows when that will be. So, namaste. In the cage.